In today's video, I will teach you how to center a layer in GIMP. Let's get started. When engaging in design work in GIMP, efficient management of layers is essential for a smoother workflow. Alignment tools prove to be a significant time saver, eliminating the need for manual calculations of pixel offsets and other tedious tasks that computers excel at handling. To center a layer in GIMP, there are several options. The first one is by using the alignment tool. Activate the alignment tool using the keyboard shortcut key Q or by finding it under the move tool in the toolbox. Alternatively, you can access it through the Tools menu by selecting Transform Tools and then clicking Align. The second option is by selecting your image element. Click on the image element that you want to center. And GIMP will display handles at the layer boundaries to indicate selection. Make sure to click on a visible pixel for proper object selection, otherwise GIMP may select the layer below it if you click on a transparent pixel. The third option is by using the alignment settings. Adjust the relative to drop-down menu setting. By default, it is set to image, centering the layer within the image boundaries. To center a layer relative to another object, use the shift key to select multiple image objects. Then change the relative to setting to first object to center one layer against another. The key action is the align center to target button, aligning everything precisely with pixel perfect precision. The last and the most advanced option is centering with guides. For visually centered results, consider using guides. Click on the vertical ruler and drag it over your image to create guides. These act as temporary visual aids and won't appear in the final image. Guides can help balance elements subjectively, for instance, aligning an image element over text while allowing certain elements to extend beyond the center. Knowing when to trust the computer's calculations and when to rely on your own eye is crucial. While technical work benefits from trusting the computer, for visual nuances like balancing adjustments, trusting your eye is often the better choice. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.